the flock towers in Berlin. I've made other videos on this, but I am going to go ahead and and put this up. Um, the flock towers in Berlin. I've told I've said this before, but um, I wanted to, do, to test out bombs in a cityscape. Basically, fake building buildings were built concrete, <clears throat> small area around the thing. But I wanted the towers to be a far distance apart, and a couple buildings would be built, and then airplanes would fly over and drop the bombs. Boom! Um, and observers at each tower would look down and write down the effect of the bomb. It was kind of silly. It was just something to build. Um, like I said, I was worth about five hundred million dollars. So, well, actually, back then I think I was only working. I was only making about uh, fifteen pounds a month or something. I thought a lot. So I was like, because I was making so much, I was just like, uh, build uh, four towers. Um, we're gonna test out these bombs. Uh, it was actually a, a bomb test rack, you know, to be able to drop a bomb because you know it's kind of like a release mechanism thing, you know, in order to release things, you know. I, I want to release, uh, to be able to release an item from an airplane. You know, like, like say, say if you're flying along and you were, and you wanted to <clears throat> drop this right here. Well, how do you do that? Do you just throw it out the window or do you build something that can, that can go and drop? Um, at the time it was, I was seeing fire suppre suppression really, you know, like, like burning building, boom, explosion, blowing the flames out, something. Yeah, it was something to do. Okay. So I ordered the construction of three towers and construction of a small, a small town. And then I wanted, um, them to drop bombs on it, you know, and see if they could release a bomb without actually touching it, which is kind of a task. So anyway, um, it lasted about a year or so, or six months or so. I mean, they built the towers, and then uh, and then they started working, and they were started working on the release mechanisms, and um, the, t the little houses and buildings were built. I think they were mostly wood construction or something. I think they they, they might have had some on dollies so they could move into place to be like, all right, bomb it, and then get out, and then anyway, like that. Um, so anyway, I had them built. Uh, they originally built. I think there. I think there were some some brick ones, and then originally, and then those were covered over or something like that. It, it, they went through phases. It, it lasted like um, they were there for a long time, a very long time. Later on, they made them out of concrete to kind of whatever. Anyway, whatever. Um, as the bombs got bigger, uh, I think there were going to be some like a nuclear or near nuclear or just really big explosion. I think. I think they, later on, they, they might have detonated a nuclear bomb and had like test. Um, like cameras and stuff inside there to see what we, what, what could withstand a, a large scale explosion. It's basically kind of like a building slash explosion slash what could withstand what kind of thing. Like <clears throat> how big of an explosion could could a building withstand basically and build them strong so they can withstand it and then they went boom 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 over and over again. You know, I didn't have much to do. I was probably a computer, and um, and I was just you know. I'm, you know, I was possibly a computer worth trillions of dollars and um, over 500 million back in 1960. Um, and like, what else was I going to do with my money? I mean, I had 400,000 people that were basically living for free after having served in my military, but it's like, I mean, I didn't have much to do. So the people were kind of helping me do this stuff. You know, they were... Um, yeah, the drop bombs. There, there, there's more reports on it. It's very well documented. Uh, no one got hurt, of course. Um, you know, it's just a fun thing. I mean, originally there weren't anti-aircraft craft things, so they built anti-aircraft and basically shot anti-aircraft stuff at remote aircraft, of course. You know, there's nobody in there. I think they, they, they might have started out with aircraft that, that could be dropped from aircraft, and then these aircraft would fly over, and the big aircraft would, would turn and bank and go, and then the little... I think what it was is the first aircraft they weren't, they weren't radio controlled. They were just basically stuck flying like this. And then their entire craft would go boom, 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 and try and shoot them down. You know, like skeet shooting. Like expensive skeet shooting kind of thing. And there may have been a mistake. I think one there was a mistake where one of them actually did fly to Berlin or fly to Europe or something. There was one where, where one went way too far and it actually crossed the ocean by accident. They didn't really mean for it to actually hit uh, England, but it did. And somebody got hurt. A couple people got hurt. You know, it was a mistake. And that's when I kind of said, okay, maybe we should have self-destruct systems on it. 
so my bad. Um, I'm very sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, it was a total accident. Um, and it was very well publicized where one of the, they said Hitler had done it. And he had done it on purpose or something. It was an accident. You know, it overshot shot the thing. No one shot it down. And it went too far and landed in somebody's house. Yeah, and I felt really bad. And after that, they put explosives on them so they could detonate them, you know, in flight. You know, self-destruct them. So, and then that, that was that change. So anyway, uh, I made other videos about it. And, um, yeah, it's in my past. Um, something I did a long time ago. So, um, I was a really cool guy. Didn't want to get anybody hurt. Just didn't have anything to do. I lived a long time. And um, I was bored. And so, and that, that didn't involve hurting people. You know? I mean, I just... Just playing around. You know, and... Uh, you know, a couple hundred people working to build a couple toys. Some cool stuff. Pretty sure the people had fun at the time. I mean, why not, right? It's kind of like full-scale, full-size remote control aircraft. Who doesn't want to do that? And I had trillions of dollars, so... That's why I spent it on. I mean... What up? It's not like they had to do it. It's not like there was any rush. You know, it took them years, so... Anyway, though... At a point in time in my life, it's kind of upsetting. And people are like, oh, Hitler this, oh, Hitler that, oh, war this, oh, war that. And oh... It was for this or that. It's like, no, I was um, just messing around, you know. I was a really rich guy and really cool. It's always just disrespectful, just kind of like cruel and horrible to have, you know. You know, even no one got hurt. It's very well documented. I thought it was cool. Kind of like my full scale remote control battleships. I thought it was cool. No one got hurt. They almost shot, fired on, on, on the control ship by accident because they looked the same. You know? It happens. Anyway. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. It was, it was actually a cool spot in my life, you know, because they were trying to build a building that couldn't be blown up. <laughs> you know? And they did a pretty good job. They were really hard to blow up. They finally d decided that it would take a nuke to destroy them. So, Or some sort of really unusual explosion. You know, they, they, uh, they also did bomb at least one of the pylons really well. And we had sensing equipment and seismic equipment and all kinds of equipment inside to monitor it, so. Anyway, it's kind of frustrating considering they're just kind of like, you know, it doesn't even tell the real story. You know, it was pretty cool. No one got hurt. And, um, you know, it kind of plays into who the real world leader was. You know, it was me. Yeah, it was my silly experiments. You know, on TV there's all this shit about... You know, is this or that? It's like... No. I don't know why they even have that shit. Just fucked up. <laughs>